Up next, we have Saskia Wassing, uh, Three Works, uh, Balancing Tea Time, Fancy Tea Bird, and Ode to the Masters. And these are all free machine embroidery and applique silk with rayon thread. And Saskia, are you with us? I am, yes, I'm right oh, here. welcome. You can hear me? Okay. <laughs> Hello, uh, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to be included in this exhibition. Um, and my work is uh, very heavily based in embroidery. It's been something I've loved doing for an extremely long time. Um, I was introduced to the technique I use um, when I was actually in my teen years at Sixth Form College. And um, I was shown how to use the sewing machine to do more than just make clothes and things that I wanted to use it to actually do embroidery. So when I talk about embroidery on the machine, now I'm talking more about nothing digital. It's a very basic, basic um, technique of using, uh, taking the control away from the machine so that you can use it very freely. So you literally are drawing with the sewing machine. And um, I haven't really looked back <laughs> since I started with that. Um, I then went on to art school and specialized in embroidery, but still my main technique is that same uh, basic, straightforward, line um, a stitch that I create uh, on the machine. Um, so my work, uh, well, as you can tell in English, originally I've been in Canada for a long time, but tea is very important to me. Um, but it's also about the connections that we make on the simple sort of everyday um, task of, or task, or for me, it's definitely a necessity um, having tea, um, of sharing um, the rituals of the things that we use and the way that we, uh, yeah, the way we connect and, and share over such a simple everyday thing um, like tea. And whether it's to share good news, not such good news, for comfort, for joy, for lots of things. So um, it's a, been a continuing theme in my work for many years and come out in different ways. Um, but more recently, it's been more about focusing actually on the particular pieces that mean a lot more to me. Um, and are so they're sort of um, odes to the things that I have, that I use, and I um, and the memories connected those and the people uh, connected with those. Um, and along with this, as you can see, are birds. I love birds, I always have. I love drawing them, I love looking at them, and I find them continually inspiring um, to, to bring into my work. So um, all my work does start with uh, a lot of drawing. So I start in my sketchbook, I start on different papers, and with all the information that I collect that way, I then start putting compositions together to take into embroidery. Um, because for me, uh, I know the textile narrative is, is much more interesting. Um, and I love working with fabric. I love the feel, I love the sort of luster and luminescence that you can create and the textures you can create when you start layering and stitching. Um, so all these pieces that I have here are uh, cliqued silk. So it's sort of like collaging with the fabrics. Um, I'm mostly using silks I've had a good stash for a long time um, with rayon threads, which are um, really fine. They look like silk um, um, and are beautiful colors and the huge range uh, that I use. Um, and then I just build away. So I, I make my sort of ground in, in the embroidery, uh, sorry, in the, the silks, and then I start stitching on top, um, adding all the details. So the, the surface becomes very densely stitched um, as I work and and as I build up the image and pattern and color is obviously very important to me as well. Um, I hope to bring sort of a celebration of, of uh, a simple, simple daily things and people and places together in the pieces. Um, and so like this piece out to the masters is also a reference to the Dutch masters. Um, I have uh, Dutch connections and uh, so drawing and looking at classic paintings from the 1600s to um, also looking at, because the tulips in this are quite stylized, it's looking at uh, William de Morgan's work in London a few years ago. It's a beautiful, amazing ceramicist, actually really good at maths, which is not my strength, <laughs> um, but beautiful embellishments. I often look at other ceramics and uh, China uh, work or um, clay works to uh, for the colors and patterns and things that inspire and come into into my work. Um, 
I think that might be it for now. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, the exhibition, I was lucky enough to see it when it first opened. It looks amazing. Um, I'm so proud to be part of it. And uh, I hope you'll get to see it soon if you haven't yet. And thank you so much, everyone, for putting it together. Anyway, thanks.